hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching and supporting please remember to like comment share subscribe to the channel i really appreciate every one of your support and your views whether you are a soul tribe member or a karmic lurking thank you for the views <laughs> we don't discriminate in views around here i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your family uh, whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you immediately and permanently. All evil and negative plan of the enemy against you and your family, families, are being dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this reading. So we have a high priestess out here. You could be this high priestess. Or someone else could be this high priestess or priestess, or you could intuitively know that something is going on, either something is coming towards you, or someone is up to something. Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, we're back with the hooligans. Anyway, so someone Someone is either seeing you, even though they know you're a high priestess, they're seeing all these different qualities about you. You're showing up in a lot of really action. How do I want to put it? You're in action, right? So you intuitively know something is going on. You're standing your ground. You're still speaking your truth. You, you pull your sword out at either someone or a group of people, and they know that. They know that you know what's going on. Um... There's a whole group that knows that you are in the know about something you've been doing behind the scenes. There could be some type of plot to set someone up for something where you have nothing to do with it. Uh, this is like someone saying, oh, on this day you did this or you sent this message or you access this website, something like that. Uh, I'm just giving out scenarios. There could be something like that going on where people are setting things up to make it look like you are involved in it, but you don't have anything to do with it. Someone in this group may want to come towards you, but they know that you are in that Queen of Swords energy. You have your swords pulled out. You may have one sword, two swords, three swords. All you know is you have it pulled out. You are standing your ground, defending yourself. You're not backing down. So... This may have something to do with your work as well. People could be trying to hinder your work, keep you from moving forward. They don't want you focused. So, you know, people could be doing things behind the scenes to kind of get you out of balance, out of focus. They don't want you concentrating or paying attention to what you're supposed to be doing. So some someone or a group of people are doing like, like, like immature things behind the scenes to get you distracted. This is you all focused on your job, on your work. You know where you're going. You know where your career plans are. Um, but someone wants to distract you so you are focused on the wrong thing. And this is because there is an opportunity that is coming towards you and there could be a woman that is orchestrating all of this nonsense behind the scenes either she was sent by someone to do that or she's doing that of her free will because she's jealous or something like that but she's doing things and having people do things around the scene to distract you but this is you you are still focused you're gifted you're the high priestess you're standing your ground you're in a battle a war right now and you are not uh, stepping down this is you with your sword pulled out. Is a heifer? Come on. Hit me with your best shot. And you're still focused regardless of what's going on. It's like, nah, I don't care what it is you're doing. I'm still going to keep moving forward. My work is still going to get done. I'm still going to show up every day like I'm supposed to. At this 9 to 5, I'm telling you, this is judgment. Your ancestors are interfering on your behalf as well. They're going to make sure you show up where you are. You are protected from some type of spell these people are trying to do. Some type of spell work. It's like they're sending energy towards you, but your ancestors are interfering and blocking it. They're like, uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. You can keep that right where you are, and you are going to stay, honey, collective. You're going to stay in this energy, or this is what's coming towards you. Judgment has already put, been called for what belongs to you to come to you, whether this is an inheritance, a job position, some type of uh, uh, assistance from someone 
it's still going to come to you. So all of the efforts anyone is making behind the scene is not going to be working. You are basically like the last man standing. There could have been like a high priestess working with these people in the past or behind the scenes, but she knows the truth now about what these people have been doing. So she may not be assisting them anymore. This could be a masculine or this could be a feminine energy, but she's not going to be working with these people anymore. You definitely have some type of blessing coming in from the most high. And this is what these people have been trying to prevent is that, hey, if you do this, let's say if you if you uh, um call in and tell her boss that she she's not working or she's this and she's that if you play with her time if you play with her money if you uh let's say do just something ridiculous right and i have to be careful apparently what i speak because what i say does matter and i've noticed that when it comes to spirituality what I say does matter. So I'm being a little bit more mindful with what I say in my readings and in life overall because I've realized that when I speak, it is brought into existence. There is someone going through some really harsh karma in the behind the scenes um, because they did something to me. And I think for a while, I was kind of just trying to disregard this person, not say anything, just kind of, you know, I'm like, you know what? This is how this person is. I don't have to school to that level. But someone just wouldn't let up. Um, so I kind of stepped in. I kind of got fed up. Um, and then the thing about me is that when I'm fed up, you don't really know because I don't express my anger very often. Um, but someone is going through a rough patch behind the scenes. They think I don't know. But remember, my third eye is open. I know. It's not going to get any better either, darling. It's not going to get any better. <laughs> it's not going to get any better. You're getting what you deserve. You're about to be a beggar on the street. Everything you were intended for me is going to be happening to you. Back to your collective. You have an abundance coming in. And you know what? This is why we need to be mindful of the people we pick fights with. There's someone whose future is looking bleak because they tried to destroy. <laughs> they tried to destroy buys. I guess they thought I was just, I'm telling you. <laughs> they tried to destroy buys. They thought I was just another uh, irrelevant character that they came across, but they found out, or they're about to find out actually, that it's not what it seems. It's, uh, honey, if I went into this mess, some of these people watch me every day. They literally log onto this channel to watch me and I can see them when they're watching my videos. People say, some people say they have gifts, their gifts are activated, things like that, but some of us, we stay quiet for a reason. It's best for us to stay quiet. But someone's future is bleak and it ain't me. I can guarantee you that. Back to you, collective. You absolutely have an inheritance, an abundance that's coming in. Now, oftentimes you'll hear readers say an inheritance. It does not always mean like a physical inheritance in the now. It just means that your spiritual blessings or blessing is going to be making contact with you. It's been already given to you in the spirit realm now you're going to have contact with it physical contact with it in the physical because when you manifest you first manifest in the spiritual realm and then it materializes in the physical and then a lot of the blessings you have in life are already destined for you so before you incarnate everything you're supposed to have is planned by the consoles so you don't know what blessings you're going to have but the consoles are aware of what you're going to have at each stage of your path of your journey and these are done like that for a reason they want to know how committed you are they want to make sure that you are committed to your ascension um so they're not going to tell you what it is you have coming in right you'll just be going through your journey going through all of these lessons and when you learn the lesson then you get this um that's kind of how that goes right you are receiving, it's like you're paid, you're being paid in a sense by the universe for the effort you're putting in. You are committed to ascending, you stuck to your contract, you fulfill your end of the contract, and then they're like, yeah, you deserve this. 
let's talk about let's think about like gifts abilities and things like that for a second right so volunteers that come from other realms other planets to help on this on the earth right because the vibration of the earth is not where it's supposed to be because we have wicked people malicious people that have made it their mission to destroy other people which is why the vibration of the earth is not where it's supposed to be so you have these volunteers from other planets that will come here to help us get back into alignment and this is through kindness through, through healing through love and things like that um so they have these abilities naturally this is why you have some people where you know they don't have to practice magic for them to be able to speak certain things into existence or for things to go in their way they're naturally gifted they don't need help with manifesting it's natural for them right the people that are naturally earthlings these are not gifts that are natural but it can be activated in them through education through learning. This is the difference be between volunteers or people that come from other realms to people that are from here. They go through like a learning process, right? So you could come from a lineage that is well advanced and these gifts then are kind of natural, kind of becomes like naturally active within you, but sometimes people are not aware that they have these gifts, so they may not use them or they become aware of them and they don't use it. But as we incarnate, because all of these gifts are not active in us all, all at once, as you incarnate and you learn and you progress, you're ascending, these gifts are being activated within you. So each lifetime you are incarnating, there are gifts being activated in you because they're going to be essential in the next lifetime. Um, so that's kind of how they go. This is why there's a difference between certain people. Certain people are just naturally gifted. Their gifts are just activated. They don't have a hard time manifesting abundance and positive things in their lives whereas other people you know they're struggling because some of them haven't really been learning the lessons they're supposed to be learning um as they've been incarnating because they've kind of deviated off of their path and indulged into certain things they were not supposed to indulge in so because source of uh, the spirit realm will see that this person's uh, uh, uh intentions are not pure those gifts will be deactivated because you're not they're not going to use it for the right reasons they're going to use it to cause harm to other people um this is how we have some high priestesses that are not in the upright and they misuse their gifts and every time they're doing that they are accumulating karma and the reason why you'll see people like this doing this for a long time and i'm telling you that the gifts will be deactivated they will the universe is extremely patient with us the universe is like a hands of parent, right? It's aware of everything we're doing, but it gives us free will to do what it is what we want to do. We have free will to do the right thing, or we have free and we have free will to do the wrong thing. So a high priestess in the reverse, they have the free will to always choose to do the right thing. But there are some that choose to do the wrong thing. So the universe will give them time and time and time and time and time again to get on the right track and when it comes to a point where they've been incarnating for lifetimes and they are still not doing what they are supposed to be doing their ancestors will back up away from them the universe will leave them to kind of do their own thing right um like people that come from other planets when they go when when they uh, uh, fall from grace or something get caught up in such, some type of karma their planet, the people from their planet won't respond to them when they cry out for help, things like that. So there are consequences for, you know, the actions that we take. I don't, and some people, I know some people just don't care because they're too immersed into darkness to give a crap about what they're doing. Um, this is why some people are really easily bought. You can go and hand them like a check to do something stupid and malicious and they don't mind doing it, right? Because they're too far gone or sometimes they're not people are not sure of themselves all right so you have like a masculine you'll meet a masculine and he's at six feet tall or six seven or something well built and you'll assume that he's assertive within himself 
you know, you can't really try him. But sometimes those are like the biggest babies, most insecure people. All you have to do is pull a check out to them and they'll, they'll fall for anything. So, but there are consequences for everything we do, right? Everything you do. So anyway, collective, I keep deviating away from your message. Let's get back into it. Your abundance is ensured. You have a blessing coming your way. People are aware of that. This is why you may notice certain things happening around you that just don't make sense. It's that like they're trying to make you feel uncomfortable, make you feel uneasy, disturb your peace absolutely do not give a reaction to these people um they're falling from grace and they want you to fall from grace but this is what's due to them you have a victory that is ensured for you okay um like for a second for example today i had some weird stuff going on and i went to talk to a gentleman today that i know is involved in it but i spoke to him in a way where i made it seem like you know i wasn't really saying it was you even though i know he's involved in that uh, in the situation. Um, and I remember before I even said anything like essential to the situation, he was saying that, oh, well, you know, it's not me. It's, it's like, I didn't ask you if it was you. So the fact that you're volunteering that information lets me know that you are involved. And then the situation that's going on, I know it's him because he's the only one with access to what's going on he's the only one that can really do what it is that's going on so i'm just like sir thank you for uh, for confirming what i was thinking already okay but sometimes people think they can mask their energy but if you're someone like me and your eyes are open you'll know what's going on but you won't say anything because that gives you the opportunity repeatedly to keep an eye on that person learn them specifically and in details right so i don't always say i will i hardly ever say what i know is going on i can know that you either did something to me in the background but i'll still sit across from you and uh not even mention it it's not because i don't know it's because i know <laughs> i already know who you are right it's kind of like that jesus and judas thing where Jesus still sat with Judas after he had sold him for 33 pieces of silver, but Jesus still broke bread with, with him, right? It's kind of like that for me. I don't have to get out of character for you. Um, and I think this is similar to what you all are going through, where people may be doing things to you, trying to get a reaction out of you because they want you to feel uneasy so you can start slacking at work and things like that and can miss out on an opportunity that's destined for you but there's a rude awakening coming for these people you're still going to get what you want you're still going to get what's yours the universe is intervening on your behalf your ancestors are, have uh, um, made judgment they've decided that time is up for these people and i think they know that time is up it's not even think these people know that time is up and they are desperate so this may be why they are doing certain things now because they're so desperate to get you out of character to get you off track to either set some type of criminal fake crime up to get you involved in it the people all of you are in different situations but your enemies are desperate at this point right you figure something out or you know something is coming out something is coming towards you some type of abundance is coming towards you and you know that they know that you know and so they want to make you feel uneasy someone does not want you to feel worthy to be in this energy but you absolutely are worthy collective do not let anyone ever make you feel unworthy of anything that the universe blesses you with if you have it that means the universe deems you uh worthy of having it as long as you didn't pull any trickery and things like that to get it you are worthy of having that blessing but someone does not want you feeling comfortable it's like uh, and I don't know why this example is being given to me. Let's say you are someone of color and you have some Caucasian person behind the scenes and they are a bigot, right? And you are working your butt off. You're about to go into like the next level in your life. But the level you're going to is so grand. This person says, oh, we don't work with people like that. And it's simply because of this fact, because you're a person of color right um he will never be one of us he's not one of us something of that nature 
he's not worthy of this abundance, of this position, of this whatever, or she's not worthy of this whatever. That is their small-minded lack of education, lack of social awareness, right? Their bigotry, that is what's speaking. That person is, is a lost cause. People like these, you don't pay attention to when you come across them. The best thing you can do is stay in your positive energy and let them suffer in silence. Okay? So, absolutely, you're going to receive what is yours. You're going to have wish fulfillment, right? And this is something that's going to be long-lasting for you. Um, someone on the other side, though, when you get a hold of what's yours, whether it's a position, whether it's a connection, whatever it is, they're going to be experiencing some type of change where you two are kind, are kind of flipping you are walking into abundance and this person is falling from grace. They're losing everything. Someone is being humble. This is why we have the tower at the bottom. Someone is being humble. Someone thought they were above the law. Someone thought they were above God, above the universe. Someone thought their magic was strong enough to destroy you and deter you off of your path away from your blessing. Someone basically wants to switch contract with you, switch identities. It said, no, I am Mary Jean. I don't know why Mary Jean names always comes up in my readings. <laughs> it's like, no, I am the real Mary Jean. But if someone has to say they're the real Mary Jean, you know Mary, that it's not Mary Jean. Because Mary Jean, when she's around, you'll know Mary Jean is around. That's like the higher, the, the empress. Empresses don't have to announce their status. You'll know they are an empress from how they carry themselves. They never have to say, I'm an empress. They'll never go out of their way to pay for spell work. They'll never go out of their way to stalk, stalk other people online, in person, whatever it is. Empresses don't move like, that way. So if a woman is saying that she, she's an empress and she's indulging in any of those things, that's not an empress. That's an insecure person. And I, then we have the social media card out here. <laughs> that is not an empress. That's an imposter. That's a representative. But you and someone are about to be switching sides. They're falling from grace and you are elevating. And this is divinely orchestrated, right? Someone thought that... I'm being told someone thought that the more people they uh, 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 had on their side, the better chances they had of defeating you. But you didn't need anyone but God is what I'm hearing. And that's always the truth. Someone thought, someone thought they were more powerful than God because they had money and because they had alliances. And all of these alliances are being dismantled. So someone miscalculated their moves. And what I'm hearing is there was no way they were even going to calculate it the correct way. Like everything that's happening is destined to happen Someone will fall from grace. They are going to lose everything. They are going to be humble because this person needs to go through a healing process. They need to go through ascension. Someone is very egotistical, like a textbook narcissist, right? They overindulge. They're very greedy, right? Someone's going to have to walk away. They wanted you to walk away from your blessings. It said the more we mess with him, the more we mess with her, they're going to let go. They're going to give up. Keep doing it. And it's like they've been doing it to some of you for so long and you're still showing up to your nine to five. Your business is still going. You're still showing up to your business. You're still posting content to your social media. And it's like some people in this group are like, what in the heck? We've been doing this for like two years now, three years, five years, six months. Nothing is changing. This person is still moving forward. And they don't understand this is because this is divinely orchestrated. These people, every action they're taking against you is for your improvement. It's supposed to toughen you up, right? It is supposed to toughen you up. I went through like a really horrendous experience last year. And when I came out of it, the um, I could hear like my ancestors celebrating in the background. Like, who? thank you. Like, I could hear them laughing, see them smiling, the dancing and everything. And this is because they realized that, you know, I had stuck to my path and I had gone through some type of growth. I didn't give up, 
right? So I could hear them celebrating for me because I had done something for my lineage that would like, you know, thrust us forward instead of backwards and things like that, like a lot of these people are doing, which is setting their lineages back 400 years of four lifetimes and things like that. Um, so things like that, I wouldn't let it, I'm not going to say I wouldn't let it get the best of you because when you're going through these treacherous times, it's very easy to give up. And when you hear someone telling you, um, stick to the, your path, don't give up, it can sound kind of redundant, but it is honestly them telling you the truth. Do not give up no matter what is going on. I don't care how destitute you think your situation is or your future is, stick to your path. Don't worry about who's against you, what new person they've bribed to go up against you. Let them keep bribing people. Let them keep uh, uh, doing little tricks and malicious things behind the scenes. There's a reason why they do it behind the scenes. They're not men enough or women, women enough to face you. So they have to do things from behind the scenes. That should let you know how powerful you are that people have to hide what they're doing, okay? And they think that it's not being seen, but you know, you're a high priestess, and this is regardless of you're a man or a woman. You know when people are fooling with you, fooling around. But I'm telling you that experience I went through last year, when I came out, well, it wasn't even just last year. I went, it was like a, from 2022, to like 2000 to the to the end of last year i was just like these people i hope you all heal someday because lord have mercy like you had people in like their 50s and 60s doing things that middle schoolers do and i was just like lord have mercy but anyways and then they still got on social media to watch me I'm like, you don't like someone, why would you get on social media to watch them? It does not make sense. Why? Are you obsessed? It's like that Mariah Carey lyrics. Why are you so obsessed with me? I really do want to know, but I honestly don't care. I already know. Okay. It's like someone, it's like someone is stuck. <laughs> someone is stuck and they are waiting for some type of out, outcome. It's like they've taken some type of action and now they're waiting for the results, but it's not coming because someone is exposed. I don't even think this person realizes that they're exposed. Someone is expecting something to go to them some type of position, some type of relationship, some type of offer, they are expecting it to go to them. But whoever this offer, this position, whatever it is, it's supposed to come from to you collective. They're just waiting for the right time to approach you. So they're gonna let these people do all of their entertainment because this is what it is. This is entertainment at this point. They're gonna let them carry all of this out. And then once they're done, which some of these people will probably be never done, but it will get to a point where there's not really much they can do. Then this person will come in to give you the offer. Someone in here, there's a woman that stole an inheritance, some money, a property, something like that. And someone is, she's in fear and desperation. So she's doing a whole lot to prevent you from receiving what's yours. And this is for someone specific. There's an older woman, she's all washed out. This is someone that's washed out in a whole lot of ways, but she stole an inheritance and she's desperate to keep it. She will not be able to keep it. She's about to go through a fall, a fall from grace. She's being seen. I don't think she realized it, that realizes that the truth is known, but someone here is about to lose what she stole. I don't know why the word washed out came out, but she must be washed out if that word is being given to me. Is I see a woman trying to hold on to her youth, but it's not there. So whatever she's doing, I don't know if she's into like cosmetic surgeries and things like that, it just does not look right. Someone's face is frozen, but the rest of her body is just a yuck. 
Yuck. Lord have mercy. Ancestors be. Who, Lord, ancestors? <laughs> It says someone has an uh, has an obsession with Botox or sur plastic surgery. It's one of those. Someone has an obsession with it. Someone has an obsession with looking perfect because she's damaged on the inside. Dam damaged goods, Lord, and she's greedy, overbearing manipulative so whole lot going unhinged lord <laughs> let's hope she's not watching this video because that's gonna hurt her ego and apparently she has a lot of it yeah i'm telling you they're gonna be disappointed they're not gonna receive whatever they think that it is they're going to be receiving they think they're going to be receiving your abundance but they're not Judgment has already been gone, called in this situation. The truth has been spoken. It's been exposed. Something has been looked over. And I don't know if this woman does not know or she knows that something is coming to you. So she's taking actions, you know, sending her little minions and things like that because this is someone well connected. She's sending her little minions to disturb your peace and things like that. And it's just not working. It's not meant to work. This is like desperation at like a umpteenth level. If there was a limit on how high you can go with desperation, this person is there. This woman pre presents herself as a privileged lady, but she's not a privileged lady. Lady, this is a thief. This is this is a thief. She might she might be going through some type of financial ending, financial loss. Yeah. She, you are going to be receiving this. You're going to be receiving this in divine timing. Right now, you can't because these people are still taking doing something behind the scenes to interfere. And it's okay. That's how it's supposed to go. But you're still going to receive what's yours. There could be someone advocating. Yeah, I'm telling you. You're going to receive what's yours. There could be someone advocating for you behind the scenes. You may not even know this person. Or you could have someone new coming towards you. Someone from the past coming towards you to help you kind of move, propel forward. Okay, it's like they're going to come and say, I know like what's been going on. They're not going to say they're off bat, but they're, you will know that they know that you've been through a lot and that people have been coming after you, something like that, or someone has been trying to block you, block your work, whether it's a nine to five or business, uh, social media or something. They know what these people have been up to because these people have approached just about everyone in your life. If you dated someone at 15, you best believe they talked to this person. If you said hello to someone when you were 12 years old um, at the park, they're talking to that person. They want everyone on their side because if, let's say, a court case is going on, they've paid all of these people behind the scenes to, to corroborate what it is they're uh, accusing you of, which is false accusations, false allegations. But all of these people are going to show up in court and lie. Uh, so if the judge, the judge may even be corrupt for some of you, like he's being paid under the table to go along with this little malicious plan to have your inheritance or your abundance given to someone else, this malicious person, whoever it is, or to just have you thrown, thrown away in jail, whatever it is. All of these people have been paid to lie. The jury is a fraud. It's like everything is a fraud. It's all set up. Everyone is paid. If, if there are cops involved, they've been paid. Like these people have spent a lot of money, but guess what? Your pathway is still clear. When it's all over and done, they're gonna realize, someone is gonna be sitting back saying, we would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you, you idiot. Anyways, when it's all done, your pathway is still clear. You are still moving forward. Uh, your path, I mean, the universe is still watching over you, protecting you, making sure that everything goes in your way. You are a divine child. You're a divine child and you are being advised to keep your mind on positive things. But just know that for a lot of you, the people around you, your friends, your families, people you haven't talked to in however many years, they are absolutely 
in the know about what's been going on. And when everything is resolved, these very same people will be coming towards you to uh, uh, reignite some type of relationship, but they're going to be blocked out of your energy immediately because the Most High and your ancestors are aware that these people accept their bribery um, to end you, to block your blessings. People characters are just being exposed to you. Your, your responsibility, one of your responsibilities in this situation is to stay quiet. Like, don't let Jean know that you know what Jean has been doing. Like, Jean, I know you accepted $10,000 to fool around. Marissa, I know you accepted $20,000 to do this. Right? Demarcus, I know you accepted $40,000 to do this. Like, you know, this is why we started out with this high priestess. A lot of you know what people are doing behind the scenes. But you are supposed to stay quiet like the high priestess. You know why? Because that is how high priestesses are. We don't share everything we know. Some of us, when you see us, you don't even know that we know the stuff that we know. And you're showing up here as a high priestess with the sun. That means you are a divine being. You're not from this planet. You're not. Some of you are not from this planet. That like you volunteered to come here. So you are always under 24-7 watch. Some of you could come from ancient bloodlines. So you're always under 24-7 watch. Someone knows that you are, are heavily protected. And this is part of the reason why they also have to do things from behind the scenes. Because you are heavily protected. Some of you people, people can only come around you when you're sleeping to do certain things. So maybe your house someone has like a key to your house if you stay in an apartment i'm not saying this to, to to cause fear in you whatever you're going to be okay like put like one of those extra locks behind your doors or something but people can only come around you when you are like shut down right but even then you are still protected because you are under 24 7 watch this they, they still cannot do anything to you while you're sleeping they, this is how protected you are so just keep that in mind. Do not be living in fear. But there's someone sneaking around when someone is sleeping. Someone is sneaking around when someone is sleeping. They're either like taking little things out of your home. They think you're not going to notice or things they know you are going to notice because they want you to feel uneasy. So you may have like uh, maybe like a crystal. You put it right here. And then tomorrow you come. Tomorrow morning when you wake up. You know why you went to sleep? Some uh, um, idiot, you know, snuck into your house because they have a key somehow, or they know how to let themselves in. They'll come and take this crystal, take it with them, or put it somewhere else in the house. Now, when you wake up in the morning, I do a reading here every day, and I come and sit here, and I'm like, what? Hold on, where is my crystal that's usually right here? And that's supposed to make me feel uneasy. So, God, oh my gosh, I lay by myself. Nobody moves anything. Obviously, I didn't move it. They want you feeling uneasy. Don't let them be stoic. <laughs> but your victory is in short, honey. It is coming to you quick. Something, whatever they've, they've been doing is over. And they're desperate. For a lot of you, it's over. Yeah, I told you, abundance. You have an abundance coming in. Someone has chosen to give you your abundance. You may be partnering up with a king of wands. Whatever it is, this person sees you as very strong and courageous. He could be the same as well. This could be someone who's like a business mogul or something. Someone is successful at business, maybe wanting to work with you. But you have your sword pulled out at this person because they may have partook in this shenanigans in the in the past or something like that. But this person sees you as very strong and they want to give you this gift. And they will give you this gift at the right time in divine timing. So you're going to have to hold your horses. 
There's a reason why some of I'm telling you new beginning in work, a new opportunity in work. There's a reason why some of you were forced to go through the difficulty uh, periods that you went through is because your heart, you needed to strengthen your heart and your mind because you were too easily triggered. I used to be the same way, so I don't want you all to feel like I'm attacking you. I used to be the same way. Before I went through my healing process, while I was going through my healing process, I was easily triggered. You just had to say the slightest thing and I was assumed that you were talking about me. Okay? So my ancestors, the universe had me go through a horrendous experience so that I could be strengthened and I would actually take time to commit to my healing. So now when people come and do stupid stuff, I just look at them like, well, now I for you. That's your business. Do what you want to do. If it makes you happy, I'm happy. If you like it, I love it. But at the end of the day, I know there's nothing you can do to destroy me. I'm the one with the spiritual gifts. You don't have any of it. I'm the one with the protection. You don't have any of it. You're the one that has cursed your bloodline for coming after me. My bloodline is intact. That's why I catch all my Z's at night. The only reason I wouldn't ca have a good night's sleep is if I choose not to. Sometimes I stay up till at 3 in the morning doing either schoolwork or just watching videos on YouTube. That's the only reason I wouldn't get a good night's sleep. But it's never because I'm terrified of someone. I'm uneasy. I'm anxious. But that used to be me. I used to worry about everything. So I was forced into a situation where I had to learn to stop worrying about everything and just know that they were there. They're there. Okay? You have an absolute new beginning in work coming towards you. And this is an opportunity these people have been trying to block. They're trying to cause you challenges and they cannot anymore. But they're going to keep trying because these are air airheads, like parasites, basically. And I don't want to, I don't like using words like that to describe people, but that's the terminology that was given to me. And these are parasites. They leech off of other people. They don't have abundance naturally. They're not able to manifest anything naturally. So if you're someone that manifests naturally, they come in to steal from you. So they're leeches. They're parasites. Parasites cannot thrive on their own without a host. So this is what these people are. But you are abundant. That you you like I love the energy you all are showing up in. You said if you started off with a high priestess, you said, first of all, I know what's going on. Don't play me dumb. I may be quiet, but I bet you a hundred percent of the time or ninety-nine point nine nine percent of the time, I know what you're up to, and I am absolutely going to be standing my ground and fighting back. This is a war. You thought you won the war. I actually just let you win the battle. Come on with it. Say what you have to say, right? And while all of that nonsense is going on, I'm still going to be working and following through with my obligations. That's you right now, collective. Like you're giving it to them hot. And you're like, and yeah, and my ancestors are on that behind too. So keep on coming for me and see what happens. And I'm still a privileged lady, privileged gentleman. I'm still going to have wish fulfillment in life. I'm still going to be wealthy and my wealth is going to be long lasting still successful. You can be unhappy or you want to be. I am still the truth. I'm still a healer and will still be moving forward. I am healed. My father, the the, the uh, universe is still watching over me, still favors me. I am a chosen. I am a volunteer. I am a star seed and my abundance is ensured. I'm still going to receive this offer with from the person I'm supposed to. In my new beginning in in uh, whatever work, business, my forward movement is all in short. I'm still taking life, taking a hold of life, right? You're still grabbing that bull by the horn and moving forward. You are a force to be reckoned with, collective. I think I'm going to name this video that you are a force to be reckoned with. Please excuse me. I am working on adjusting my camera. 
my battery. I've been having battery issues, but anyways. So let me hurry up and finish. Like, this is, oh Lord, your enemies are worn out. They are worn out, but they still want to seem like they're, yeah, I'm telling you. Every, every action these people want to take against you is being dismantled. Their forward movement is blocked. They want you to feel like you're not moving forward. Right? They want you to feel like you're not moving forward, but you are. Like, they want you to feel uneasy. Like, you have power, you have the power to, to do whatever it is you want to do. Your imperfect alignment with source. Some people are doing like magic behind the scenes, calling on their ancestors to help them just to block you. And they say, what in the world? Hi and why are you all this committed to take one person down? One person. And it's not even one person. It's you and whoever is supposed to be giving you this opportunity. But your victory is still insured. I'm telling you, your victory is still insured. This privileged lady is being left out in the cold. I told you all, she's going to lose everything. This woman is losing everything. Everything. This is not you, Collective. This is this woman losing everything. She's being pulled out of a home, losing some type of abundance. She stole something. Whoever this is, is losing everything. This is someone that was bribing people or is bribing people behind the scenes. She could be working on behalf of someone else, but whoever this is, they're losing everything. They're about to be homeless because this union is still coming together. I'm telling you, this union is with fulfillment. Whatever this is, business, a romantic union is coming together. There's nothing she can do. He can do. They can do. Look at that. That car just flew out. You both, you and whoever this is, are coming out of the cold. To have this union, there's going to be a lot of passion. That you will actually like each other. Like you two will be friends. And that's something that's hard to find in relationships. This is your karma for both of you. This is karma for both of you. Good karma for both of you. You two are coming out of the cold. Like from betrayal, backstabbing, all of that. All of the betrayals you all went through behind the scenes at the hands of people you trusted. It's all going in your favor. This is good karma for you all. Balance and justice is being brought into this situation. Uh, someone just wants to bring good karma into your life, balance into your life. This masculine, this masculine wants to bring balance into your life, life bring you justice. So for some of you, he didn't go through what you went through, but he knows what you went through and the actions he's taking. He's choosing not to move forward with these people, not to work with these people anymore. He's leaving them. He's walking away from this institution, basically leaving them out in the court. Said, I'm done with this nonsense. Like, this is so immature. Um, I don't want to be a part of it. Or maybe they approached this masculine and he didn't want to do nothing. He didn't want anything to have to do with this childish behavior because of greed. Um, so he turned his back on them. And he's about to form some type of alliance with you, but there's a romantic interest. So he's made a decision to do the right thing. He also has a romantic interest in you. I've never seen a group of people like so intimidated by one person. This is what's been coming out in the readings forever. Or even just one person, 
that is so intimidated by another person that they barely even know anything about this person whoever this is man or woman you best believe they have had your life looked into no stone was left unturned but they still don't know anything about you that's the sad part is that they spent all of this money to look into you and they still don't know you make it make sense meanwhile high priestess all you have to do is close your eyes and you can see everything you want to see. <laughs> you can see anything, everything you want to see about this person and everyone involved. Make it make sense. You mean you got to spend your money to find out about me, but I don't have to spend any money? Who's the real winner? I thought you were powerful. Someone thought their connections made them their connection made them invincible. It does not. Yeah, this person is going for it. Someone has been like, oh, I don't know if I should go towards this person, if they're going to reject me. Someone has had some type of hesitancy they're dealing with because they know what you've been through. So they are a little afraid to come towards you. They don't know if you're going to reject them out of fear. Or uh, maybe you're going to be questioning their motives and things like that. So they are like, oh, do I really want to do this? Do I want to go for it? Should I just let bygones be bygones? Should I just, you know, they don't know what to do. But there's, they don't know if they even should come towards you if you're going to accept them or reject them. But they're choosing to go for it. Or, you know, they are afraid, but they're still going to take action to come towards you because they want to bring balance in your life. Be careful as well. There's a masculine figure in here that wants to beat this one towards you. Yeah, someone is no longer wanting to keep you captive captive because this is what these people have been trying to do. It keep is keep you captive in some way shape or form. Confine you either literally in prison, confine you in a company where you cannot go anywhere else confine you in some type of toxic relationship, keep you in your mind and things like that. Someone is going through some type of awakening as well. Someone is healing because of them either interacting with you, watching you, but your time of being blocked, whatever it is, it's over. You're, you see how it landed under the star? You're no longer being blocked. You're not confused. You're not unstable. You are absolutely a-okay. Someone is going for it. They don't know how you're going to accept them or perceive them, but they're still taking action to come towards you to bring balance in your life. You are healing or you've healed. You're going through some type of ascension because of everything these people put you through. It's like, thank you for the ascension. Meanwhile, they are descending farther and farther down into the pits of hell. Uh, and I'm just saying that, saying hell to be sarcastic, hell is not a real place. Hell is a mental thing. Hell is where people go when they don't think that they are worthy of going to a higher place when they're passing away. They don't feel worthy of that because of all the deeds that they've done, okay? When you pass away, whether you are a wicked person, a good person, you're not going to hell evil people that people that are malicious they go to be re-educated they go to be re-educated or they go to some type of um spiritual hospital in the spirit realm where they are being nursed because that's kind of how the universe feels that we need to be uh, uh, uh. what is it what is that word when prisoners uh, uh, um come out of prison and reinstitute something i forgot the word lord help me something where they're trying to find their way back into society and i keep forgetting the word re re reinstituted something like that the source's way of getting us to go through that process is by it's through those different processes of like education you'll go to the place of education right so you have to be kind of reprogram on how to be a good soul or a proper soul whatever that means or you go to like a hospital but it's not like a hospital that we have here on the physical realm 
right? This is somewhere where you're going, where a lot of beings are like loving on you. They're taking care of you, checking on you to see how you're doing. And it's so beautiful there that you don't want to leave, but you can only be there for a specific amount of time. When their time is up, they'll tell you it is now time, now time for you to leave um, because you are no longer in need of the services that they provide. So you have to leave and then go to the place of education, uh, like a library where you're going to school every day to relearn really how to be a good soul or to have some type of mindset where when you reincarnate, you'll take proper steps to ascend, hopefully if you stick to your contract. Um, but there is no thing where you're going to hell the people that tell you, oh, I had a near-death experience and I was in hell, that's their mind playing tricks on them. And oftentimes, these are people that were born in like religious background where it's been imposed on them that if they don't act a certain way, they're going to go to hell. If they break one of the Ten Commandments, they're going to go to hell. If they are LGBT every other letter in the alphabet they're going to go to hell there is no way they're not going to hell there is no hell that is fear that people have accepted and they are living in so when you're dying and you think you're going to hell that's you choosing to create some type of realm where you are going okay when you are dying if you if someone has a maybe this is why this is coming up if someone in your family is dying and you have the honor or the privilege of being with them when they are dying, tell them to tell them that they want to return to source. This enables them to connect with the highest and purest of white light, which is source. Okay, tell them that they forgive themselves and they forgive everyone that wronged them. They need to die with a pure and clean heart, not with burdens. This is why sometimes souls have a hard time transitioning because they die in these really intense emotions of anger, bitterness, hate, and things like that. And they have a hard time transitioning over into the next life, right? So if you have a grandma, a grandpa, whoever is passing away, tell them, hey, say you want to. They don't have to say it physically, just even thinking it. I wish to return to source. I wish to return to source. I am forgiving. I forgive all that have wronged me, right? That's where their heart light as a feather comes into play, okay? It goes deep, but honey, it goes deep. <laughs> Absolutely, it goes deep, but you know, we've all been programmed. I used to be religious, heavily a religious person. You couldn't tell me anything about religion. And then I grew up and I realized I was living in a bubble that was not secure. Okay. There's basically, we are all forgiving before we even ask for forgiveness. I'm telling you, you are healing. You are healed. Whoever this is, is going through a healing as well. And it's going to be absolutely a-okay. You two are going through some type of dark night of the souls. Or he's going through it. You're going through it. But you two are going to be absolutely a-okay. Someone is going through heartbreak. Their partner they were with may have cheated on them. Or someone stole from them. Someone close to them may have betrayed them. And this person that you're supposed to connect with whether man or woman, is going through some some type of really hard experience right now and they're having a hard time accepting this experience or things for what it is. So they need a lot of healing energy. So if you know who this is, send them a lot of positive energy. Even if you don't know who it is, send positive energy out to your divine counterpart because they need it. They're going through a lot right now. Source, what is your advice for us? <laughs> Source be on point. Source be on point. Wait, I got it here. Oh, 10, 10, completion. Something is done. I'm telling you, something is done and these people don't want to let go. So they're going to keep pushing it. Okay, it's like keep your thoughts positive. I told you, 
Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. I am patient. That is just reiterating everything I said. 17 inf blessings of infinity that has the hand of the most high in there. I'm telling you because it's the number eight. The quality of work you can produce when you are going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. I am independent. Okay? Which means that this aid means the universe is working with you behind the scenes. They're helping you. Okay? So you may be working alone in the physical, but you have angels working with you behind the scenes okay so you're not alone six work in progress you're moving forward you're healing things like that that's what the, well, that's what the number six has to do with you are putting in effort right and i'm gonna align this when i'm done so let me read this six of uh, 15 your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide you are curious and social oh they the main your your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people all who will benefit from your warm heartfelt words of wisdom i am wise so you have six here and you have eight and you have ten ten right um and then let's not forget this comes to two which has to do with the two of cups perfect alignment so you are putting in effort you're working towards something this is what you are being guided to do right is to put in effort stay committed to your work and things like that and this effort energy and positive manifestation you're working on is going to lead to infinite blessing all right limitless blessings for you that is being given to you by the hands of the most high which means that it's everlasting blessings this is not just a blessing that's going to be benefiting you but this is something you're generations after you is going to be benefiting from basically you are doing the work right now so the generations after you do not have to do any work right they can live in peace so you're like the scapegoat in a sense but you are blessed to be in that position now we have 10 10 which 10 is the number of completion right so you put in the work source has supported you they're blessing you and everything is done you fulfill your contract you fulfill your purpose you fulfill what you were supposed to do and then this sums down to two so you're going to be partnering up getting in some type of union whether it's work related or romantic to manifest a new reality which means that which also uh, uh solidifies that completion anyways thank you for watching stay blessed and i will see you in my next video goodbye for now